No, I would face the counseling issue. 10% of it is visible observability. You can see it. Now, yeah, it looks fine, but they might be nervous if you see that foot tap. <laughs> so that means uh, it's a little bit of things that are unclear. You can see that. You can see the smile, but that person can't fool you because you saw that tapping. So you can ask them, are you ready to leave? People are like, what? What are you talking about? Oh, I see that you're not ready. Or maybe while they're signing, but you can see something is off and you can catch that. It's visible observ observability. These are behaviors, language, habits, now the 90% invisible non-observabilities might be the skills that they're hiding that you can't see. And they are perpetuating. And you forget that those things are there. You keep pushing them to the side. You might be interpreting one day. And the deaf person is say, I'm trying to get your attention directly. I'm waving at you. Wait, wait, don't sign that. Don't use that. Sign another thing. And you're just interpreting right away. You feel like, ooh, ooh. You just have all this disgruntle going on while they're interpreting. Why are they telling me to change my sign? Just throw me off. Okay, I'm not going to get that <laughs> You might even say to yourself, don't criticize me while I'm interpreting. Do it afterwards. And you just keep on interpreting. You have all of these feelings inside. And you have all the anger and all that turmoil inside, and it comes out of your face. And you see all of that. Why are you changing your facial expressions? You have this internal feeling. You need to analyze yourself and then realize as a child you had all this criticism coming up and people talked about you and you still were learning. And sometimes when you're an adult, you just like somebody might scream at you and you just might react like a child. And it's like, wait a minute, I didn't mean to say all of that. And they said that to me, it just took me to another level. And it was like angry, you were so upset. And then that, that person say, oh, that interpreter is so sensitive. We are human. There's a lot of different childhood experiences. And some are terrible because sometimes their parents didn't give them a lot of support. They didn't give them the words to use. They might have rejected them their whole life. And then when it's time for the ministry and they get corrected, they just get discombobulated. And it turns them off. And you need to put on that face and understand and say, okay, God is with me. I am strong. I can do this. And I can believe in God's word and all through we're Christian interpreters and just do it. And some see, my people see that you're not okay. You're not entwined. So you need to analyze it. And it comes back to you and you ask yourself, why are you reacting that way? And you don't put your defenses up. Or maybe you just have to make a distance and just keep a smile on your face because when you're disconnected you're not flowing and you might not be able to intermingle with everybody and then the deaf person say well why is deaf why is this interpreter favoring this deaf person and that interpreter has their own issues they have to explore what's going on inside ministry is not easy I've got a lot of criticism myself. Oh, many people have criticized me several times, especially how I react. I can't control how they react, but how I can react, I can control that. 